Christy. I just wanted to share a really quick video tutorial with you guys today. Um, I'm going to show you how to make your own um, inserts for a clear iPhone case so that you're able to make your own iPhone covers with um, all your different great pattern papers. Um, so what I did was I had this really old um, iPhone cover. It was like one of those heavy duty ones which is good because I'm really klutzy and I do drop my iPhone um, from time to time. Um, but it was really ugly and I'd been wanting to get a clear case for a long time so that I could make my own covers. So I did that this weekend and um, I'm going to show you how I did it. Um, what I did was I just picked up one of these um, clear cases from Target it's by Griffin. It was $19.99. I picked it up in the white, um, but I actually have a black iPhone and I'm not sure that I'm loving it, so I might return it and get the black one. But anyway, for the purposes of this video, you know, use whichever. It comes in, in with the black or the white, um, but anyway. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, what you're going to do, um, first of all, let me take this back off here. There we go. Um, this is what the insert looks like right here. Just like that. Um, so to make your own, I'm going to start by using this um, pattern paper pack by Lawn Fawn. This is their petite pack. Um, it's called On the Bright Side. Um, you're also going to need a pair of scissors or a craft knife um, or both. I use both, but if you just need to have one. Um, the craft knife is going to be the better one for you. Um, a pencil, an eraser, and the case. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick out. Um, there's so many great patterns in this pack. But I am going to use this um, chevron here. I love this, uh, the ombre effect that this chevron has. And I love gray. So. <laughs> That's the rest of the pack there. Lots of great patterns to use. Um, by the way, the one that I made here, this one, um, was from this older collection, this Lime Twist by My Mind's Eye. So, um, The first one that you're going to make is going to be a little bit trickier than the others. The first part isn't, but um, cutting the, the hole for your camera um, is a little bit tricky. So once you do one, um, save it for a template and it'll be much easier. Um, but to start out, what you're going to do is just, well what I did actually was just, um, I took the clear case and kind of figured out where I wanted my pattern to start. And I really like how this graduates, this lighter pattern, so I'm going to go all the way up to the top here. And once I found basically where I want my pattern to be, I just take my iPhone and set it there. And I'm going to trace around it lightly with a pencil, just really lightly. Get right up on the edge though, because you want to make sure your paper is going to fit inside the clear case. Okay, so we have that, and I'm going to go ahead and cut that out with a pair of scissors. I have more control with scissors, but if you prefer to cut out with a craft knife, that's fine. Okay, so there we have it. Um, and then you just want to slip it inside there and make sure it's going to fit. Just squeeze it all right all the way down to the edges. Okay, and that fits fine. So for the window, what I did um, was just take my finger underneath that spot and press it really tight up against the, the case. And then I just traced it out. Like that. Okay. Um, and then I took my craft knife 
and I just cut around that. And this part is the trial and error part because um, you're not going to get as close as you need. Um, it's still going to leave a little bit of an edge because you can't really get right up in there. Um, so I just kept trying it, putting it back in, seeing, trimming off a little bit more. Um, but like I said, once you have the template, you know, you can just line that up. And then trace around that hole, because this one is the perfect size now. And then you're just going to trim that out. What I like to do is kind of turn the paper more than I turn my craft knife. Um, I don't cut with a craft knife that often, so I don't feel like I have a whole lot of control with it. Um, but turning the paper um, seems to help a little bit for me. Okay, there we go. And I'm actually going to trim this just a little bit smaller. I noticed that um, it didn't quite lay in there as nicely as I would have liked. I'm just going to trim off just a little bit here. It's best if you can to try to trim inside the pencil marks, um, you know, to give you a little bit that out of wiggle room. Okay, and there I can see I have just a little bit sticking up, so I'm going to take that back out and just trim that bottom a little bit more. try that out. And that looks perfect. So then you just pop your iPhone in the case. And there you go. You have a brand new iPhone cover. Actually, I kind of like that with the white. <laughs> I might keep the white case after all. <laughs> Okay, um, so I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. That's as easy as it is. Once you have the template, it's so easy and you can make so many designs. You could switch out your pattern paper to match your outfit. You could switch it out every day of the week, every month. You know, the possibilities are just endless. So thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.